Howdy folks, Having Controller here, and tonight, you and me, we're going to play a little uh, Theldro. And oh boy, we are, we are really in for a treat. It is an old Mac game, as you probably could tell, but uh, if the spray-painted trees weren't enough of a clue, there you go. Uh, this was recommended to me by a user, a viewer, whatever. He's probably a user, too. Um, named, awesomely named, Wheelchair Mania. And it was based on my affection for Scarab of Ra. And uh, Theldro is very similar to Scarab of Ra. It's a little bit more of an RPG. You get actual weapons and stats and stuff like that. You get to cast spells and all that fantasy bullshit. And uh, it, it, it's... <laughs> It's it's an experience. We'll just leave it at that. Um, one thing I do want to mention at the get-go is that it is very crashy. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can actually get through some kind of session of this game. But uh, I, I, do, I, I don't anticipate beating it by any means. But I do want to show it to you guys because uh, it, it kind of symbolizes a lot of what was really cool and also really awful about being saddled with uh, a Mac as a young man trying to play games. So anyways, uh, Theldro, let's let's get started here. Um, I'm going to start a new player. And I didn't have a snappy creative name lined up, so I'm going to make one up now and it's going to be bad. How about shit hammer? Great. All right. So that's the copyright stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Rights to the authors and stuff. Okay, so we get to roll up a... <laughs> we get to roll up a character now. And you know what? I don't think that your build matters that much. But we're going to uh, go with your typical sword-wielding oaf, I think. Uh, let's bump that up and bump up our con and our decks. And that'll do. Can we can we notch any of these others up? There we go. Okay. Uh, as far as I know, the god you choose really doesn't matter. They do have um, some some specific you know traits, I guess. Barabaku, I believe, is kind of a god of you know good things <laughs> and light and rainbows and. All that frilly bullshit. Ipeak or Ipeki uh, is the goddess of wind and uh, weather, and and uh, I don't think I think that the author is very careful to say that she is not the goddess of storms. Very important. Um, and you know weather and I don't know Doppler radar. I, it, it, she's also a, kind of a goody two shoes, so we're not interested in her. Susie's, 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 is the goddess of lightning and music, which puts her at odds with Ipiki, so, um, that's a start, and, you know, lightning and music together, I mean, lightning plus music equals, uh, metal, so let's, uh, go ahead and, uh, be Susie's, a, a patron of Susie's, and you can be a lefty, you can be a southpaw if you want, but no, we're not gonna... So, here we are in the wonderful, magical world of Theldro. Oh joy. Let's uh, equip our dagger and prepare for the onslaught that is about to commence. Um, so, I, I guess the backstory is that our character is kind of the, a, a, your typical waif uh, living in a monastery who is infected with uh, a case of raging wanderlust because our mom is... Uh, very conveniently dead, and <laughs> our father went on some some silly ass adventure uh, many years ago into a castle, and obviously we we want to know what happened to the old guy, and um, we've done some research into various scrolls and documents and facsimiles, and discovered that he was going to a place called Bowden. So we're in the vicinity of Bowden, and I can tell you right now that things do not bode well for us. So if we go straight, we will die. I'm just going to tell you that right now. If you go to the left, you'll notice here it says the fort to your left leads to Bowden, because we 
know everything. Um, we're just going to try to get to Bowden as quickly as possible because everything in this forest wants to kill us and it probably will. And okay, let me just tell you right now that the true gift of this game, playing this game, is the sound. The sound is spectacular. <laughs> that is the best! It is so good. That is the best death sound in any game ever. Okay, so this is Bowden here. And so there, there's critters and stuff in the uh, forest, and that's not good. We don't like critters. But there's critters in Bowden too. And they will gleefully ruin your life. Um, no, I, I want to I get a better weapon, first of all. How much are long swords? We have plenty of gold. Let's go with a long sword. Big Shorge. Yes. Excellent. Can I dual wield? Aw, oh, yeah. No, let's sell that. Okay, good for you. All right, so we sold some of our shit, which is nice. Can I stay in here? Can I Can I rest? I don't know if I can. Uh, there are magical spells in this game. I, I haven't gotten too much into them, and I probably should give them a little bit more of a try, but the, the character I rolled up that was a mage got just turned into a delicious nutty paste and was served atop crostini much to the delight of the party goers it was it was a horrible debacle um so I, I didn't really pursue that much more after that but i probably should um and i hear it's completely playable to play that way but anyways um there are two different schools of magic you have just, just you're just mystical magic that uh, works based on your power here it's that's basically MP and then you have clerical spells which are kinda like the old um, D&D system where you could only charge or cast a spell for the number of charges you have for the day and then sometimes they use these components we have none of these so whatever um, I'm trying to figure out if I can rest here or if I actually picked this game up about two months ago and started playing it. I was like, this is horrible, and it, it's making me feel bad about myself. And then I stopped, and now I've forgotten everything that I learned. Um, rings and things. Let's go inside there. These are all spells. We don't... Yeah, let's get a... Can I get one? <laughs> Moving on. There's a parchment here. What you understand of the message says, Bizarre, south, south and south. Fascinating. You know what? I don't need this. Excellent. To your right is Omar's, and left is a massive door. Let's go to Omar's. He's a gemsmith. Well... Let's see, I think... Now, I can't remember what gems do. Um, okay. I think that they're a way of, like, kind of depositing cash. That door is locked. Can I kick it? Can I kick it or pick it? You just flip it and stick it and see you later. Bye. Okay, well, that did a little bit of damage to me. I'm not interested in taking damage right now because um, this game is good at giving damage to you. The Temple of Berabaku. What does this say? Let me read this. To south, the Lost Woods lies shop of the... That is very confusing. Don't appreciate that. Ah, uh, no. We, that's a false god. Stupid red cross. Um, the Green Dragon Inn. Where have I heard that before? And then the Blue Dragon Tavern. They must be sister establishments. The barkeep is here. Talk with him? Yes. Hello. I would like to ask you about... Um, what's this stupid town called? Bowden? Yeah. 
I have no idea where that is. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's spectacular. Um, there's another castle or something that um, is mentioned. This game actually has a very good guide with it. I will give it some credit. Um, let's let's go to nowhere. Apparently, it, apparently it doesn't work. It is a little buggy. It's because I'm running it on an emulator. It's it's nothing against it. A night's stay is only five gold, so we will... Yeah, let's do that. And that guy looks uh, inviting. Alright. Oh, see? Now this is what I was talking about. Bowden is full of disaster. Uh, we've got a boar right in the middle of town. It's apparently not wild. It's probably just a pig in this case because it's within the city limits. And there's politics, etc. I don't know what I'm talking about. <coughs> My god! I just like the image of a wild boar going, Gah! <laughs> uh, So good. Um, wait, is there an armor shop? What is this? Oh, that's the exit. No, let's not leave town yet. Ahmed's armors, okay. Um, let's see how much a jerkin costs. <laughs> Uh, uh, jerkin. All right, let's see. We need to probably get some kind of armor, maybe a shield. Jerkin. I'll get the ring mail. That might be a decision that I end up regretting, but because I want to have enough money to, um, rest in the inn here. So what I've found a, an effective tactic is at the start is to wander around Bowden and uh, no no I don't don't wanna can't make me uh, is to wander around Bowden and fight boars <laughs> and ants oh god ants ants no oh. I'm, it's all coming back to me now. I don't know if any of you have seen um, Sprockets with uh, Mike Myers, but there's this one episode where a guest he has on says, Ants! 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 And that's what comes into my head every time I see these things. They're a nightmare. <coughs> notice that they are very subtly animated, too. <coughs> and notice that there are two of them, and they are completely... <coughs> <laughs> I don't have any words after that. <laughs> this is the best. It's so good. Oh no. Oh my god. We gotta get to the the green dragon in. Okay. We're gonna run into a little bit of a problem here once we uh run out of gold, but one thing that I'm just noticing is that our armor really didn't help us out all that much. Uh, we still got kind of brutalized. Oh, jeez. Look! Come on! Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, this is it. This is we're done actually. I can guarantee you just about that we're gonna die here. <laughs> See look at that shit. And that's what we sound like when we die. I'm afraid that you have just died. Oh drat. Well, okay. Shit hammer's dead, but I wanna keep trying. So, um we'll create a new player and we'll name him. Um, wand wielder. <laughs> it's not even a good joke. Forget it. I do like Susie's. Um, question about whether or not we should start up as a mage. I don't know. I don't. No. Uh, let's go with... Let's try it. 
I don't really know how to effectively build a mage, I guess. But... Yeah. That's some of that. And this will all be converted into gold, so that's fine. Alright, so our, our mage is now in the forest in the exact same spot. It is different from Scarab of Raw in that... Um... <clears throat> oh, God. In that you don't have... Uh procedurally generated uh, dungeons. It's always the same map every time. It doesn't matter, because it, you're still going to die. Um, can I cast Magic Missile? I want to cast Magic Missile. I, I, I'm attacking the darkness! Whoa! Direct hit. And then we're going to... Oh my goodness. Oh no. I don't know if he sounds, like, excited to the point of agony, or agonized to the point of excitement. Either way, I am extremely horny. Let's go in here, and, um... What wizard would be complete without his staff? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Haggle? Yes. Gimme. Take that. You will accept my dagger, and, uh... I will be on my way. Thank you very much. Welcome to Rings and Things. Um, how much is how much is this again? A big farty amount of money, apparently. Still, uh, that is more reasonable, but it's still a lot of money. I do believe that's all gonna say the same stuff. The right is Omar's, he's the gem guy. Oh no. Stop it. So apparently it takes two turns for me to... It's just rude at this point. It takes uh, two turns for me to swing my staff. And uh... Let's actually go... Uh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. This is... I think it is exclusively mouse controlled. I'm just messing around with some of the keys. And indeed, I have verified this fact. Um, let's get a jerkin. Yeah, I drive a hard bargain. Whoop, whoop. Obviously, your charisma affects that. Your ability to drive hard bargains. Alright, so now we're gonna meander around here. Oh, Jesus. Perhaps I need to study more. My parents are so disappointed in me. Oh, my God. Jesus. One more time, please. No, I'm a great student. I work hard, I'm diligent. Oh. This is just insane. Okay. I'm gonna stay again. Eventually, I think we do start to build up stats. Um, is there a way of looking at that? I don't think that there is. Nope. Read magic does not work on quarter staffs. Okay, I. Good to know. Um, okay, so we're gonna actually leave town because there's Bowden has nothing to offer us. Where am I going? That's another. Oh, jeez. There's another. That's another thing that's confusing about this game is that the, the texturing, is a little bit weird on how the, first person view works. It doesn't look right, <laughs> I guess, but. Ah, oh, well. Magic missile. Can I try knock? Oh, it's for a door. That's a rat, not a door. Ah, so apparently I need components for things to sleep. And these rats are just appalling. Fortunately, dealt with them pretty quickly. Okay, so we're going to actually go back into the forest... 
And we are at the entrance of an abandoned cemetery. Only crypts remain now. No bloods allowed. No Serenios. No MS-13. None of those guys. Hey! Great! Okay! See, I think we might be getting a little... Might be getting a little better. I just decided that I wanted to explore in here a little bit. See if there was some magical delights. Oh no! I did it! Oh no! And how? Okay, we're gonna give this one more try. One more try on video for the internet. Notice that I have it displayed in thrilling widescreen. Alright. We're gonna go with another oaf uh, wielding a sword and a shield, maybe. Um, we're gonna name our guy... Um, nipple... Breath... Shit, I don't know. Let's see. Fiddle with the stats here. <laughs> okay then. Apparently, uh, it didn't like my choice of stats. Uh, let's try that again here. Okay, here we are again. Let's uh, name our character something more clever. I'm gonna name him Fart Blade. All right, that that is hilarious. Um. See if we can get away with this amazing spec that I came up with. Um, cha. Ch -ch 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 Excellent. Alright, so forward we go. We're going to go towards Bowden. And actually, no we're not. We're going to go towards this uh, area here and... Uh oh, to the south, the forest seems wrapped in spider webs. I'm sorry, I'm not home right now. Holy sweet Jesus. <clears throat> so I remember that that was a little bit of a tricky uh, spot to go to. I did not, I did not know the, 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 just how dangerous it really was. Today, Junior. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna try to stab this boar. Oh, come on! Oh, we got a sack of gold from the rats. They look like the Muppet rats. It's ridiculous. Um. Well, let's see. I want a good sword. One that won't make me sick. Take that. And then... Fine. Bloop! And then I'm gonna go to the armor. Wait, I think I walked right by him. Okay. Okay. And... weird. I reverted to right-clicking it. Not necessary. We'll go with a small shield. And... Do we want to... Do we want a jerkin? Or do we want a ringmail? Ringmail is... Yeah. After haggling, that seems like the right choice. Is there really a right choice? Who can say? You know, one of the actual lasting... Um, positive things about this game is this font here. Uh, I know that that sounds weird, but this font was eventually used in a different, and I'm just going to go ahead and say better game, <laughs> called Realms. And Realms is something that I've been wanting to possibly play. I don't really know if uh, that's that practical. Oh my god, Bear is driving. But we'll see. Hey. 
That was more than I could bear. We barely got out of that one. You know what? That's a road to ruin right there. Uh, oh, there's a message. What does it say? There is an old tunnel under the river to the southeast. How do I know which way is... That doesn't help me at all. I don't know where anything is. I... Is there a way of, like, orienting myself? There is a map that's included in one of the, uh, help things, but it doesn't really orient you that well. Well, it kind of does. I shouldn't say that. There is, it is probably possible to infer what direction you're facing based on that one map. So, yeah, that is helpful advice, I guess. Bag of gold from rat! Ah, more rats! Ah. Okay, so that's where we started. Now let's actually look at that map. If we can. About the scenario. Whoop! There we go. So we start here, and if we keep going this way, we end up here, and so on and so forth. And that looks like it actually leads us into Bowdoin, so why don't we go to that path that we... Oh my god. We'll go into that entryway that we came across here. It's locked. Never mind. Let's go back to Bowdoin then. Click furiously. Progression. Exposition. Let's go over here. This looks welcoming and cheery. Oh yeah, this is where the cemetery is. Oh Jesus Christ, no, no, no! <clears throat> Ever. <laughs> My God. Uh, oh, it's a bear. <laughs> Honey, I am home. This is a little bit of a problem. It's a bear of a problem. Oh, no. Impossible. This game is impossible. You can't win. You can't win for losing. It's just impossible. I, I know that it is... Well, okay. It is possible. But the question is, do I have the patience to um, to actually make any kind of meaningful pro progress in this game? The answer is pretty much no. Uh, I know that there are people out there who are huge fans of this uh, little game. And you know what? It's not as bad as it could be, but... And you know what? Let's give it some credit, too. I believe that this game was originally programmed in HyperCard. So, you know, you gotta make the best of what you got. And this was actually... It's not an unplayable game. It's crashed a few, or a couple times for me, but you know what? That's because I'm running it... I'm asking it to do too much, probably. I don't know. I'm making excuses for it. it it's part of the Mac repertoire, and I felt obliged to play it because it was recommended to me. And I have done so, and my job is done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was Steldro, and it was definitely a challenge. I will probably never beat it in my life, but I'm glad I had the opportunity to at least share it with you guys, if only just a little tiny portion of it, because it's cripplingly difficult. So, with all that said, this has been Effing Controller playing... Theldro, a fantastic quote-unquote Mac game from days of yore.